Hello YouTube, welcome to HK Cowboys channel. My name is Kay the Magnificent and today we are finally going to talk about heists on this channel as an actual thing that exists in the universe. I haven't done a turn of videos since the heist release because I assumed everyone would be too busy playing them instead of watching videos of me play them. So now that heists are out and everyone has had a good go, I'm here to answer a deceptively simple question. Were heists worth the wait? Now, I've seen some people weigh in on this topic. I know I'm not the first, but this channel is mostly based on my aggressively critical opinions, so I definitely need to throw myself into the fray. The short answer to the big question is... No! But I kind of like them. For the long answer, let's break this all down. See, GTA 5 Online's first trailer came out in August 2013, and it advertised heists as part of the deal. Not long after, GTA 5 was released, and Online was available shortly after that. It took roughly 18 months for us to get heists. It was promised from the beginning, repeatedly delayed, promised again, delayed again for months and months, 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 months. As much as it sounds like a tired argument, the fact that it took 18 months is something that should not be overlooked. If you think about the heists themselves, it's all fairly positive. There's a few different heists to choose from, there's lots of different setup missions to boot, so there are a lot of things to do. Some of them are strategic and some of them aren't. They take place in interesting locations and they have fairly decent payouts. All in all, they did essentially what was promised on the tin. But ask yourself this, what about the heists show any reason to take 18 months? Game mechanics wise, they're set up like elaborate missions. There's nothing too special or huge to suggest that there is any real difference from the missions that are already built into the game. There are a handful of introductory cutscenes, but we know that the main cast had already recorded a lot of the voiceover work for DLCs when they were making the game, and that's still including a lot of stuff we haven't even seen yet. There's a couple of new vehicles, but Rockstar seems keen to piss out vehicles whenever there's an update. So what exactly took all this time? I originally assumed it would be too powerful for the old-gen consoles, but they're clearly fucking not, as they've been released on both. The only reasonable argument is that they wanted to stall until the current gen release so that they could gain more customers with the promise and media buzz of heists. It's bullshit, to be quite frank. It's a prime example of Rockstar not giving a flying fuck about their customers, but hey, we all know this by now, so we shouldn't be shocked or angry. My one last word on heists will be that although they're not shit, there are still some serious Rockstar server issues that make playing heists quite an impossible task. It's taken hours to get myself and my crew for a full heist because people keep getting kicked or invites don't work or the game would crash people's consoles. It's ridiculous that these issues still persist after all this time. Not to mention how shite the matchmaking is and getting stuck with randoms who die constantly. So to sum up, no, heists were not worth 18 months of disappointment. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you're into that sort of thing and let us know what you think of the heists in the comments. K out.